My name is Emily Norton, and I'm the ward counselor from Ward 2. That means I'm elected only by the people of Ward 2, uh, which is mostly Newtonville. And I'm opposed to the change to the city charter that has been proposed and that we will all be voting on on November 7th, and I'll tell you why. When I was first running, I knocked on doors all over my ward, and I'll remember one day getting to a street where most of the homes were very nice and the lawns were well manicured, uh, but there was one house on the street that wasn't uh, as well kept up and the home needed paint and I got inside uh, the entryway and it smelled a bit like cigarette smoke and I could tell that the people who lived there probably didn't have uh, as much means as some of their neighbors. So I rang the bell and the woman who opened the door looked at me and she said, I've heard about you and I'm going to vote for you but I'm going to ask you something. Don't forget about us. And that has stayed with me because I knew what she meant was not just about her and her son who lived there as well, but people like her who don't have as much means and as much power and as much influence in the city. Don't forget about us. And to me, that's what being a ward counselor is about. Looking out for everyone in the ward and being truly accountable to them. If I am not responsive to the people of the ward, it's not that hard to run against me and defeat me. But if I'm elected citywide, which is what this change proposes, all citywide seats, I could even lose the ward vote and yet still easily win re-election because the city is so big. So that's what is at stake in this election. I urge you to vote no on November 7th because then we are standing up for accountability, for democracy, and local representation in Newton. Thank you.